Hi, this is Kim Watson. In this video, I'm going to have a quick checkup on whether DeepSeek uh, can actually compare with ChatGPT for trading purposes. Now, a long time ago, I did a video which showed how you could use ChatGPT to help you write code for the likes of TradingView. Now, this is one of the areas where I feel that you know, this, this sort of software, this, effect, this uh, intelligence could help us with trading is to be able to set up the parameters we're looking for on our ch uh, charting packages, for example. So what I thought I'd do is a quite a simple comparison of asking the same question in both, and then let's have a look at the, the what it uh, the output. Now I'm not going to go into detail of the output because I really don't understand the coding that well, uh, but. I do understand what it looks like when it's put on a chart, so we'll have a look and see which one performs best. So let's get cracking. So first things first, I asked the question to DeepSeek, give me a code, now I've really left this quite open, give me the code for an RSI divergence using TradingView code. How's that? That's, that's a really open question, let's see what it comes up with. Well, it came up with this. Um, one thing, well, I'll go on to what I noticed, but it, it, it's pretty solid bit of code by looks of things. We'll see how it performs in a moment, but it's given us a code which discusses uh, how, what, what it is. It gives us the inputs, etc., plotting, how to use it. It's got a lot of stuff on this, and to be fair, bearing in mind this is a, a relatively new uh, AI tool, it's it's come up with something that looks quite good now let's look so you've got all of this we've got the explanation the inputs the rsi calculation everything that's popped in here so let's look at what chat gpt gives us same question um give me the code i've literally cut and pasted the code a question across to here um it's told me a little bit what, what, what a divergence is okay and then it's given me the script so yeah Basically, the script certainly appears to be less in terms of what's there. Um, hopefully, I've looked down as much as I can. It doesn't seem to have any scrolling pages or whatever else. Now, I've copied and pasted both of these into a charting package to make things simpler and quicker. But again, it gives it how it works. It's a bit more brief, act brief actually the uh, chat GPT version. It's not got so much detail in here, but let's see how it performs. Okay, so entering the, the code is quite easy. You just go to Pine Code, and then um, you, you literally click click here on, on this point here and create new and put an indicator. This is just an indicator, it's not a strategy. So we'd, we'd create a new indicator. Once you've done it, you just paste in the content you've taken from GBT, so it's literally uh, copy and paste. One thing I notice on this, the, the latest version of uh, TradingView is actually version 6 and this is still uh, printed it out in 5, so this is DeepSeek, but I, I'm going to apply this, to, actually I'm going to apply uh, the chat GPT first, so we'll have a look at that if I can find it. Um, let me see, open script. Um, there it is. Pop that in there first. So this is the RSI I divergence chat GPT. So all of the, again, just copied and pasted it onto here. Um, if if any error co errors come up, it will show me when I go to add it to the chart. Now, just before I show anything more on this, of course, for those that are familiar with RSI divergences, uh, basically there was one up here, uh, one here. Now. Uh, probably a bullish one here and there, but there's, it doesn't appear to. Maybe, uh, arguably, there would have been a bullish one around here somewhere. Now, I don't expect these things to work absolutely with precision, but uh, let's see how well they do. So, go back to the Pine Antissa here. Let's add it to the chart. So, what this does then, let's just hide that. We don't need to see that. It's given me a load of arrows. Uh, these are bearish divergences, which it's showing me. Okay, I don't see where it's giving me an arrow at this point here. Um, now, okay, and then it's giving me positive. This doesn't seem to look too good. Now, 
So that's on there. So I can get, now go into Pine Ed Editor and uh, click on here. And let's put my more recent one up if I can find it here. So Deep Seek and close that and add that one to the chart. Okay, and then close. So it it shows it in a different format. So it's identified the bearish divergence here. Um, not not found anything of any interest over there. Hasn't found this one, but there is a reasoning behind it. And I I, I looked at this, and I, one one thing it allows you to do is there's, there's lots of options. So you can set your overbought and oversold points on the RSI. You can change the length of period and the look back period. So there's 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 opportunities to adjust this. If we look at the the other one, RSI, and again, you've got um, similar things here with the RSI divergence with Chat GPT uh, resource co course. It actually offers a, a little bit more on this on this page here. Uh, look back, all, all the standard sort of settings you might expect. The only thing is, one seems to work and the other one doesn't. Um, I haven't adjusted either of them, and they, they, they look to be set pretty similarly. I haven't change the look back now the look back basically is how how many bars it's going to go back to show you a divergence but in simple terms the, these things here aren't don't look like divergences to me i can't see that where the arrows are on the chat gpt figures to show arrows this is is prettier <laughs> it actually tells me what it is and it's actually pulled one out now. I'm going to pull this back a little bit and see if so there's lots of divergences. These aren't divergences. Um, these aren't divergences in the type of the way we would trade them. A divergence generally you've got lower um, lower uh, price action with higher RSI action. So there, there was one starting, and it's certainly not on these candles up here. It's, it would be down here, whether this is showing it. I don't know how, how it's displaying. One, there's a lot of them on here, uh, according to this. And two, they seem quite <sighs> haphazard. So, uh, 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 but, oh, here we go. We've got a bullish one that, that was across it. They're clearly a bullish divergence there between those two points. Uh, or, sorry, Becky Bard, even these two points. <laughs> there was the double divergence that it worked out. It didn't. Uh, it didn't trigger the way I traded divergence, but um, lots more kicking through um, with the chat GPT. Now, we can argue that they're not set up properly or whatever else. All I wanted to do was look, look at a, a, in terms of a novice programmer um, and take the data and see what we could do with it uh, and see how good it is or the AI using AI. So if you're thinking about doing a bit of analysis with artificial intelligence it may be what that deep seek is a very good tool i certainly wouldn't um i know a lot of people are suggesting it's not as good it hasn't got as much information i did a search on um, google and just said what's best and it was it, it immediately said chat gpt it's been going longer it's got a lot more information hey it may have a lot more information but from what i've just seen on this very simple test now i haven't chosen anything different from the same questions asked same answer and I've just popped it in there so as a trader that's as I say a novice programmer um, it's brilliant from my what from what I can see here uh, if you if you were relying on um, chat GPT it, it looks I mean okay it did it, it sort of given me an arrow of divergence whether that's the point at which it's triggering um, maybe another matter I'm just looking it's not not making sense to me whatsoever. Um, yes, that's yeah. It, it looks like it's done it on close, and that might be the problem, as opposed to the actual movement. But looking at some of these, they're quite spiky, and it's done it on close and not low, so uh, or high or low. So it might it might need adjusting. But it's something that needs adjusting. It shouldn't need to adjust <laughs> if you if you're new to things. I'm looking at this. With I'm a good technical and analyst, um, I, I can see it really easy when there's, there's things to be seen there. Uh, but this is is making me scratch my head somewhat in terms of well, it's particularly down here. Um, 
there's no divergence here. There was, there was a, the RSI was uh, moving the opposite way, but price was going the opposite way as well. So um, there we are. Anyway, so I'll let you make your own dis uh, mind up on it. If there's things you got or would like to talk about on this, do fire away in uh, the uh, comments below. And, we'll, and if you've got ideas, if you found that one works better than the other, let me know. Take care. Bye for now.